We end tonight with a view of America through the lens of a trailblazing photographer. Michelle Miller has his pictures and his story. I love you, man. Love you too, Wonderful. Man. At a recent book signing in Harlem, the personal vision of 80-year-old photographer Adger Cowens was on full display. I've never had a book of my work before. For Cowens, it started in rural Ohio, growing up in the midst of the Great Depression. In 1958, he became one of the first African Americans to earn a degree in photography from Ohio State. He decided to write a letter to the only black photographer he'd ever heard of, Gordon Parks, whose images of the Jim Crow South made him world famous. He said, well, you can live here with me and my family, and you can work with me at Life Magazine. He would work with Parks for two years before pointing his own lens toward everyday life. Cowan says it took more emotion than skill. I feel that's what I do. When I take a picture, I feel it. When you get that rush or you get that feeling inside of you, you say, I have it. I know I have it. I felt it. By the mid-60s, he was capturing celebrities like Dizzy Gillespie, Sammy Davis, Sarah Vaughn, and Mick Jagger. Well, I'll take it easy for God's sake. But it would be on movie party. sets like On Golden Pond, where Cowens would make history, becoming the first African-American Hollywood still photographer. What reaction did you get? First of all, when they saw me, they assumed that I was there to deliver something. You know, <laughs> well, what's this black guy doing? There was nobody else black on the set. He has worked on more than 30 films, and even at 80, he's still expanding his craft. What does your huge book of talent say about you and, and what you've meant? I don't think like that. Spirit touches me and something comes out. It belongs to the world. It doesn't belong to me. Okay, ma'am. And now everyone can have their own copy. Tamara, how are you doing? Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, good night.